A very warm welcome to the news in details now. With Rwanda's land borders reopening on Monday, hope has been expressed that the decision will help stabilize commodity prices that have continued to climb. The steady increase of commodity prices in Rwanda baffled many at first, but it is steadily being realized that the global events over the past two years and what is currently happening now have played a significant role. Nevertheless, with Rwanda's land borders reopening, there is much hope. With borders reopening, things are going to get much cheaper. With Uganda's border open, things like cooking oil that was costing 17,500 Rwandan francs for a jerry can will go back down now that people will just drive to Kampala and get it. Rice was now at 27,000 Rwandan francs per sack. With the Rusumo border reopening, it will go back to the old price of 15,000 Rwandan francs. Shoes had become shockingly expensive, 25,000 Rwandan francs for a single pair. But with the border with the DRC open to all again and many products being brought in, that same pair could cost as little as 10,000 Rwandan francs. Things are going to be very good. The National Institute of Statistics of Rwanda has confirmed that commodity prices in urban areas increased by as much as 4.3 percent between January 2021 and January 2022. But businessmen and women say the trend is now going to reverse itself. Sugar prices rose all over the world, but I assure you that the local price is bound to fall back down. It had gotten as high as 70,000 Rwandan francs per sack, up from 39,000 Rwandan francs. I believe that it should fall by as much as 65,000 Rwandan francs. Many importers have stocked up on sugar at the Dubai port and it should be arriving sometime during this week. There is also a lot more coming from Swaziland, which is why I am confident that we will not see sugar prices spike like that again. Consumer rights associations agree that international commodity prices have been volatile, but point out that it should not be a reason for local traders to start hiking up prices unrealistically, which is why government oversight is necessary. Petroleum products have also been on the rise, with a litre of petrol now at 1,256 random francs, up 31 random francs per litre, and diesel at 1,201 random francs, an increase of 61 random francs. But things would have been much worse had the government not decided to forego some taxes on such commodities. Uh, the price has been mitigated by the government because the, the government has decided to reduce the road maintenance fund by 61, 61, 60 francs on diesel and uh, 31, 32 on uh, petrol. This shows the commitment of the government to try to reduce uh, the taxes and uh, to, to stop the increase of uh, not to, to to reduce the price of the the petroleum product on the market economic experts point out that as the world emerges from the covid-19 pandemic demand has quickly outweighed supply leading to the increase in prices but that things should level out over time as production picks up again meanwhile officials in the ministry of trade and industry have reiterated that much is being done to deal with the challenges posed by global markets the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization says global food prices increased by 3.9% between January and February this year, with cooking oil jumping by 8.5%, dairy products 6.4%, grains 3%, with maize increasing by 5.1% and wheat 2.1% because of the war in Ukraine. The Pentecostal Church of, Ra of Rwanda has ordained Isaiah Ndaize as its head as the church looks to address the problems that have plagued it as of late, most notably poor leadership practices and the mismanagement of his assets. Now, the ceremony to ordain Isaiah Ndaize was attended by Rwanda's Minister of Local Government, Gatabazi Jamaiviani. Take a look. The head pastor and his deputy were among other officials that were ordained on Sunday and much is now expected of them from the church's followers. What we want from them is to first bring together the hearts of Christians. Most of the problems in the Adipair church are derived from divisionism and that includes among the church's leaders. You know that for people to be successful at anything they do, they must be in harmony, which is why we want our leaders to be team players. 
they should agree on how to proceed for the benefit of the Christians they lead. The new head of the Pentecostal Church of Rwanda says things are going to be a lot more organized moving forward. First, everybody must be aware of their duties because when people start trying to do jobs that don't concern them, problems always arise. We have now streamlined everything so that there is no more confusion. So let everyone do what they're supposed to, the pastors, those in charge of our technical duties and the general Christian congregation. Let them all be aware of their duties and fulfill them. Government officials present also urged the church to make sure it does not backslide into the problems it has just emerged from. There are those in charge of the preaching done by the church and others supposed to manage the church's assets and that appears to be where the problems arose. We have asked them to work together and seek advice when necessary. We have also urged them to practice what they preach on a daily basis and actually listen to the wishes of their congregations, making sure money for projects is actually used for what it was meant for and also following up on congregations in different parts of the country. The Pentecostal Church of Rwanda was formed almost 82 years ago and now has more than 2 million members. This Sunday, March 2022 on 6th, the Liberal Party trained its members representing others in order to show them the constitution and the changes it has made so far to align with the country's vision 2050 party or PL as it is commonly referred to which has been there for more than 30 years has trained its members on its constitution and its current amendments in line with the new national vision of 2050 PL party members shared the benefits of the training I first learned about where the Liberal Party came from and why it was set up to further strengthen civil freedom or to bring about justice for development. Awadi Sadonatil, the leader of PL, explains the main purpose of the training. Today our main goal was to show you the constitution and what has changed because recently we made some changes. We made some changes in order to align with the new PL party vision. We have now started the vision of the 2050 and as a political party we ought to contribute to that vision so that it can be achieved and the goals we have set for ourselves can be achieved. <laughs> The Liberal Party is one of the most active parties in the country since its inception in 1991 and its main goal is to fight for human freedom. People in the sectors of Nyarugunga and Kanombe in Kichukiro district here in Kigali have been commending the Water and Sanitation Corporation, WASAC, because they now have a reliable supply of water. Now this comes after the Kanzenze water purification plant in Wujesera district was completed. Drawing water from Akajera River officials at WASAC have given assurances that the problems the local residents were facing when it comes to water have now been resolved. The plant is able to supply 40,000 cubic meters of water daily. Now 10,000 of them going to people in Wujesera district. Kigali also has another three water purification plants currently supplying the city. Moving on, local farmers in Rwanda are being urged to modernize their animal husbandry practices, especially when it comes to the way they rear small livestock in order to increase productivity and evolve beyond a, sub a subset. A subsistence, a subsistence existence. When, pro, when properly done, the rearing of animals such as chickens, goats, sheep, and pigs have been found to just as lucrative as rearing large animals like cows, which are favored in Rwanda. Now, during the last fiscal year, up to 15 more pig slaughterhouses were built to help pig farmers sell more pork. Now, pig rearing increased by 3% between 2017 and 2020 from 30.7 to 33.7%.
And on behalf of the entire news production team, thank you so much for your company. I'm Jane Mutoni. Bye for now.